Namo Adidapha. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The fourth mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful speech and the inability to listen to others, I vow to cultivate loving speech and deep listening in order to bring joy and happiness to others and to relieve others of their suffering. Knowing that words can create happiness or suffering, I'm determined to speak truthfully with words that inspire self-confidence, joy, and hope. I will not spread news I do not know to be certain and will not criticize or condemn things of which I am not sure. I will refrain from uttering words that can cause division or discord, or that can cause the family or the community to break. I'm determined to make all efforts to reconcile and resolve all conflicts, however small. <clears throat> For our Dharma lessons, we've been reading Beginning Our Day, Volume 2, by the monastics of Abhyagiri Monastery. Today we're finishing a reflection on Two Kinds of Fools by Ajahn Yatiko. <clears throat> Solitude in our practice is important in helping us to relinquish the unskillful views we've picked up in the past from misguided teachers, friends, books, and other unhelpful sources views that have influenced us in ways not easily recognized. We need solitary practice to clearly see those views and the effects of our prior conditioning, to discern the Buddha Dharma for ourselves. But we have to be careful that our solitary practice doesn't create a type of selfishness or self-centered point of view. Living in community helps us remember to open our eyes and see that there are people here who are going through the same difficulties we are and who may need the same sort of support we have received. It is helpful to be conscious of that, expand our vision, and care for the people around us. We are like earthworms, tilling the spiritual soil of the community, so it is a fertile place for growth and the Dharma. When we come from a place of generosity and care, there can be a strong feeling that we are living under very special circumstances. This, in turn, uplifts our solitary practices, practice and encourages a more encompassing perspective. <clears throat> May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be at peace. Namo Aditapa. Thanks so much for joining me today. <clears throat>